Texas Governor Rick Perry made a lunchtime campaign stop at Soul Man's Barbecue in Rockwall today. Dozens and maybe hundreds of uh, campaign supporters are here to see Governor Perry. This is Congressman Ralph Hall and Suzanne Bowers. Congressman Hall, did you put this event together here for Governor uh, Perry? No, I'm not even part of it, but I like the governor. I've known him since he was five years old. I used to know the governor and his sister. His father was county commissioner, and I was county judge here, but we were both in the association. We'd meet down there for legislation, and he'd bring those two little kids with him. And he's a good guy. He's always been a good guy. I think he's a good governor, and I think he's going to be reelected. I hope he is. Thank you. Uh, this is Tony Fisk, the chairman of the Rockwall Republican Party. Tony, were you involved in uh, organizing this campaign stop for Governor Perry? Well, I mean, I think that the uh, county party, we were given uh, notice earlier this week about Governor Perry's stop. So, yeah, once I found out, I certainly went uh, to the precinct chairs and the other folks on the executive committee, and we got out the word. So, yes. We're here with Don Hallett. He's the owner of Soul Man's Barbecue. Uh, Don, how'd you get the governor here at Soul Man's in Rockwall? Well, his people contacted us about having a rally at this location, and we were very happy to have him. Well, I bet you were. You've got hundreds of people in here. Yeah, it's it, a big turnout. A big turnout for the governor. Now, are you selling some food today, too? It looks like you are. <laughs> Lots of food, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lots of good Texas barbecue. Texas is great today. Uh, Texas is the place that people want to move to. Matter of fact, the Wall Street Journal this morning had another one of those articles about why Texas is the greatest place in the world to live, and they were talking about where jobs are being created in America today. And, and just for a little primer here, let me take you back. During the 2000s, nobody created more jobs in America than Texas. Since 2005, there are four out of five private sector jobs created in America were created in Texas. That's the and it didn't happen by accident. I mean, it wasn't just because we got great barbecue like Soul Man <laughs> that people are coming to the state of Texas. Now, that don't hurt nothing. Uh, but, but the fact of the matter is, People are coming to the state of Texas because they know that freedom still means something in this state. Yep. Freedom, freedom is important to the people of the state of Texas. Freedom from over-taxation, freedom from over-regulation, freedom from over-litigation. And we got public schools that are accountable and continuing to develop a skilled workforce. Those companies aren't translocating from the Midwest and, and making hundreds of millions of dollars of capital investment in the state of Texas if they were worried about whether or not the jobs uh, and the skilled workforce is going to be able to be there to fill those jobs. I'll give you a good example. I want to tell you two things. Medtronics is a, a, a medical device company. Back in 08, they just finally had all of California they stamped. Uh, taxes, regulations, everything else that's going on out there. And they were looking to where they want to be. And they could have moved anywhere in America. They chose to move 1,400 people in that, uh, in that facility. They make an artificial pancreas, very involved in diabetes. In that plant in the Bay Area, California, which ain't bad living. I mean, it's a pretty part of the world, I'll tell you that. If you can afford it. Bingo. <laughs> she said if you can afford it. Well, they figured out they couldn't afford it anymore. And they chose to move lock, stock, and barrel, 1,400 jobs, $65,000 average salary to San Antonio, Texas in March of 09. That is a powerful message about what we've created in the state of Texas. Those four simple principles of tax and a regulatory policy that are fair and predictable, legal system that doesn't allow for oversuing, appropriately funded accountable public schools that says there's skilled workforce here. Those are four simple principles that have been deployed and employed in the state of Texas 
And then there's one other thing, government, get out of the way and let the private sector do yes. what they want. This is J.J. Smith with TheRockWallNews.com.